Imagine two monsters, each with a mass of millions of suns, circling each other in a cosmic dance of death. They are so powerful that they can rip apart the fabric of space and time, creating ripples that travel across the universe. They are so hungry that they devour anything that comes near them, including stars and planets. They are so bright that they outshine entire galaxies with their flashes of light. These are not creatures from a science fiction movie. These are supermassive black holes, the most extreme objects in nature. And astronomers have just made a historic breakthrough. They have detected for the first time one of them in a well-known binary system called OJ-287, located 3.5 billion light-years away from Earth. What is OJ-287? How did astronomers find the secondary black hole? And what does this discovery mean for our understanding of gravity and galaxy evolution? In this video, we will answer these questions and more as we explore the amazing story of OJ-287, the supermassive binary black hole system that has been hiding in plain sight for over a century. Before we dive into OJ-287, let's first understand what black holes are and how they can form binary systems. A black hole is a region of space where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape. A black hole can be formed by the collapse of a massive star at the end of its life, or by the merger of two smaller black holes or other compact objects. A binary black hole is a system consisting of two black holes orbiting each other. Binary black holes can form either as remnants of high-mass binary star systems or by dynamic processes and mutual capture. Binary star systems are very common in the universe, and they consist of two stars that orbit each other due to their mutual gravitational attraction. Sometimes one or both of the stars can explode as supernovae and leave behind black holes or other compact objects, such as neutron stars or white dwarfs. These objects can then continue to orbit each other as a binary system. Binary black holes are very interesting because they can produce powerful gravitational waves, which are ripples in space-time caused by accelerating masses. Gravitational waves carry away some of the orbital energy and angular momentum of the system, making it shrink and speed up over time. Eventually, the two black holes will get so close that they will merge into one bigger black hole. OJ-287 is a type of active galaxy called a blazer. A blazer is a galaxy that has a supermassive black hole at its center, surrounded by a disk of hot gas and dust. As the black hole feeds on the disk, it produces powerful jets of particles and radiation that shoot out from its poles. When one of these jets points towards Earth, we see a bright and variable source of light across the electromagnetic spectrum, from radio waves to X-rays. OJ-287 was first observed in radio wavelengths in the 1950s, but it was not until the 1980s that astronomers noticed something unusual about its optical light curve. The light curve shows how the brightness of an object changes over time, and OJ-287's light curve revealed a periodic variation of 11, 12 years, with a narrow double peak at maximum brightness. This kind of variation suggested that OJ-287 was not just a single supermassive black hole, but a binary system, with two supermassive black holes orbiting each other. The idea of a supermassive binary black hole system in OJ-287 was intriguing, but also challenging to test. The two black holes are so close together that they appear as one dot in the sky, even with the most powerful telescopes. How could astronomers tell them apart? The answer came from studying the timing and shape of the optical flares. The flares are thought to result from the smaller black hole punching through the disk of the larger black hole twice in every 12-year orbit. This plunging heats up the disk material and causes it to expand and radiate, producing a flash of light that lasts for about two weeks and is brighter than a trillion stars. By analyzing the data from multiple telescopes over several decades, astronomers were able to measure the mass, orbit, and spin of both black holes. The primary black hole has a mass of about 100 million solar masses, while the secondary black hole has a mass of about 150 million solar masses. 
The orbit is highly eccentric, meaning that it is not circular but oval-shaped. The spin of the primary black hole is about 38% of the maximum possible value for a rotating black hole. The measurements also confirm that the binary system is losing energy due to gravitational waves, which are ripples in space-time caused by accelerating masses. Gravitational waves carry away some of the orbital energy and angular momentum of the system, making it shrink and speed up over time. Eventually, after about 10,000 years, the two black holes will merge into one bigger black hole. The discovery of the secondary black hole in OJ-287 is not only exciting for astronomy, but also for physics and cosmology. It provides us with a unique laboratory to test our theories of gravity and galaxy evolution. One of the theories that OJ-287 challenges is general relativity, which is Einstein's theory of gravity. General relativity predicts how gravity affects space-time and matter energy, but it has not been fully tested in extreme conditions like those near supermassive black holes. OJ-287 offers us an opportunity to probe these conditions and look for any deviations from general relativity. Another theory that OJ-287 informs us about is galaxy evolution. Galaxies are believed to grow by merging with other galaxies over time, and this process can create supermassive binary black holes like OJ-287. By studying how these binaries form and interact with their environment, we can learn more about the history and fate of galaxies in the universe. OJ-287 is not the only supermassive binary black hole system out there, but it is one of the best studied and understood. It is also a target candidate for the Event Horizon Telescope, which is a network of telescopes that can image the shadows of black holes. By observing OJ-287 with this telescope, we might be able to see the two black holes as separate objects for the first time. In this video, we have learned about OJ-287, the supermassive binary black hole system that has been hiding in plain sight for over a century. We have seen how astronomers detected the secondary black hole for the first time by observing its impact on the disk and jet of the primary black hole. And we have discussed how this discovery helps us test our theories of gravity and galaxy evolution. OJ-287 is a fascinating and mysterious object that continues to surprise and challenge us. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this one.